Plano police now have a tool they hope will prevent future crashes, and it's so spot on the department can now direct officers to the worst spots before those crashes even happen. And when we checked out one of those spots, we found an eight car crash. Here's Job and Paniker. <laughs> These are the sounds and the images that nobody wants to witness. And I know that there's people that are stuck in their vehicle over there that they're trying to get out. Heart pounding moments even for the witnesses. To actually see it happen and see somebody uh, land in a street. You're more likely to be injured in a crash in our city than you are any other way. But there is more to these crashes that may help prevent them from happening in the future. Each one of these numbers represent a person. David Tilly of Plano Police says the department analyzes this data. Everything is completely pot compiled. Uh, where the location was, uh, what a contributing factor, what we believe the cause of the crash might have been. These numbers then translate to action. In Plano's case, special enforcement in the city's worst crash spots. The traffic unit is doing visible enforcement in these targeted areas, like Highway 75. There's a lot that goes through there, especially during the rush hour, whether it's in the morning or the evening. No surprise to anyone, Highway 75 has four locations in the top 20 for crashes. Legacy is another place that's repeated. One of the highest reasons uh, contributing factors is fail to control speed. Out of the 3,402 crashes that happened last year, the contributing factor in one third of those was speed. More likely to be injured in our city in a crash than any other way. Nobody wants to see these crashes and to Plano, learning when and where they happen and how they happen might be the solution to stopping them. Joven Paniker, Channel 8 News.